Hi guys, we want to show you the variety of um, gray banded king snakes and we get a lot of feedback on gray banded kings and they're both Mike's and I's one of our favorites and you know natural beauty not color morphs you don't need color morphs with these guys um, so we just want to show you how big the variety is and we don't have as much as there is out there not even close but we'll just show you our small little collection and samples of what we have. We have a couple a couple River Road Grey Banded Kings and these are clutch mates and you can see how different they are. And this guy wants to bite. Maybe not. But see how different clutch mates. And here we get again clutch mates. These are Christmas mountains. This guy's got a little bit of orange pinstriped in there. This guy really doesn't have much. Maybe on the neck. This guy wants to bite. We're always talking about their uh, how great they are. Uh, their but, their amazing <laughs> temperaments. <laughs> so of course we got one trying to bite. Yeah, but as you can see, they don't. This here is a Highway 277. Now, when these, you get an orange and black every other one, those are called alternates. And so they'll alter black to red or orange. Here we have a Juno Road, more of a, this is what we call a Blair's pattern. When they have the big orange saddles, that's a Blair's phase. When you see the reduced pattern where it's black and pinstripes of orange and those are alterna phase, this is a Blair's phase. This is a non-locality gray band. Um, one of my favorites um, just because of these unusual colors and patterns um, this faint this faint orange the reason that is faint instead of bright it's a marker because this thing is het for anatheristic and that's a marker which a lot of morphs or hets you don't get to see that typically but gray bands is one of that does that and so there you go this here is a Highway 277. I raised this gal from a baby. She's about five years old. A little bit of different look. She's got orange, some without. Um, yeah, she's full grown, five years old. Probably, you know, 30 inches or so. Here we have, uh, I did not develop this line. It's called, uh, a long blotched gray band for obvious reason. A friend of mine developed this. He had a gray banded, a Blair's phase that had like a four inch neck blotch and then he just line bred it and this is the result of many years of work right here. Now and does that originate from a locality animal? Um, it was a non-locality animal. Non it's beautiful. there you go that's the gray band of kings um it's uh, a very fun animal to keep um there's a look for kind of everyone like you can get big orange saddles or you can get reduced i've seen a couple with reddish saddles instead of orange um i've seen black on black before too and so you just get a whole variety of looks which is which is fun and that's what makes breeding them fun too.